Hey, Hugh. MJ Daniels was more than just a standout athlete. He was a brother, he was a teammate, and above all, he was a friend to those in Loosedale and beyond. George County head football coach James Ray says former Rebel MJ Daniels could put a smile on anyone's face and light up any room he walked into. What's up, man? What's up? He was a great guy. I can be getting on to him in practice. You know, he's not doing something right. And by the end of our conversation, he had me smiling and laughing. And I felt like everything was going to be all right from that point. He had that, that gift. But at just 21 years old, Daniels was killed in a late-night apartment shooting in Hattiesburg Tuesday, leaving the Loosedale community shocked and heartbroken. He loved George County. He loved his teammates. Uh, he loved his family. He loved life. I mean, he, he, the hunting stories that we would tell and the fishing stories and the fishing trips that we would go on, I mean, he, did, he had it. I mean, he understood what joy was and what happiness meant. After high school, Daniels signed with Ole Miss and after two seasons transferred to Southern Miss. Ray watched MJ's journey every step of the way and knew no matter the team, he'd make an impact on and off the field. His teammates loved him. He loved his teammates. Uh, I mean, he grew up in George County. He's, he's known all these guys he played with his whole life. Uh, it didn't matter what background, didn't matter where they came from. They were all the same to him. Ray says there's one memory that will always stick out when thinking of MJ, and it's not on the football field, it's in a fishing boat. You know, either I would hit him up or he'd hit me up and say, hey, coach, let's go fishing, and he'd take me out to his best spots. We never caught any fish, so I, I don't know if he was playing a joke on me or not, but, you know, just it wasn't always about football with him. You know, he had, he had other interests. He had other joys of life. More than a player, Ray says he's mourning the loss of a friend and all the life ahead of him. I'm going to miss everything about MJ. I'm going to miss going and watching him play. I'm going to miss watching him get married. I'm going to miss watching him raise a family. Because, you know, winning football games is important, and we work extremely hard here to win football games. But at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. What matters is what kind of life they're going to have after football. The things I'm going to miss about is watching him grow old and watching him be a thrive in whatever community he cho chose to live in after college and just being around him, just hearing his voice. A balloon release is planned for this Friday, June 14th, over at the George County Football Stadium, and that'll get started at 6 p.m.